Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel. I am Ariel and I am doing your weekly love reading for the 18th to the 25th. This is the third time I'm doing your reading, so I hope it works this time. Alright, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You'll pick a side of what energy most resonates with you. Your partner will be the other. Bottom of the deck is your central issue or shared energy with one clarifier. Alright. Here we go. So you can see the cards. All right. Your guys' central issue or shared energy is the fool, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Amazing. All right. So we got the Prince of Cups on. Um, this time. So somebody's holding back uh, their feelings from either you or you to them. Uh, they're not quite sure where they want to this to move, what direction they want it to go in. They know they love you or you know that you love them, but you're not quite sure. Um, you're not quite sure of whether you can put the trust in that this other person, this other side, they're coming in very quickly. Um, they know what they want. They want you or you want them. Uh, yeah, very quick, very fast. A lot of passion. Um, you're very sexually attracted to this person. This person's very good looking. Um, but they can also be flighty at times. But with this... Um, with the two knights or the two princes together, um, this person is the one that is for sure they are wanting to move forward, um, full steam ahead. And this person is holding back. They're not quite sure um, if this connection can be trusted. Yeah, right now, this side is um, they are going through. A time where they're they're kind of confused right now. Um, they're just going to take a step back, or they currently are, and uh, evaluate what it is that they want, who it is they want um, for some of you. They're also taking this time um, separated from you, um, Virgos, to heal, or you're doing this to um, them. Yeah, this side, um, at one point in time, this this um, energy is the one that was holding back. They were um, putting 100% into the relationship. They were not investing themselves, their feelings, their time into this person. Um, and now that is, that is over. Now they're ready to live with their heart, with their feelings, and move in very quickly. They've come out of this time of unsure whether or not they want this relationship. Now they're coming in like a speed of lightning. Oh, wow. Amazing energy. Um, you're connected to this person somehow with the stars, um, whether this is a destined relationship whether um, you guys enjoy um, astrology or looking at the stars. Uh, but most importantly, this is this is their wish coming true or yours, Virgo, depending on what side you are. Um, this is for how long now this person has been hoping and wishing that this side would return. Yeah, for some of you, um, with it being the star, they could have been hoping for this for the last, you know, 17 days, 17 months. Um, I don't see any further than that, but this has been um, a long time that they have been trying to manifest this connection back together, but they've always known that this energy is where they wanted to return to. 
Um, also, when the stars align in the right order, um, this relationship will come back to uh, fruition because this is what this person is wishing for. They're wishing for healing and a relationship that they can place their heart in and not be scared that um, that it's going to be hurt. Yeah, this person, they are, um, they're beginning to really work on themselves. They're going to work on their finances. They're becoming um, single. Uh, this person could have not been single before, and that is why they had to share their energy and they weren't investing completely into the relationship. But this person is um, very, very knowledgeable, very, yeah, very um, grounded. They are, when once they become single, that is when they're going to move forward um, and no longer hold back their energy. And there's Virgo at the bottom of the deck again with the Hermit and the Chariot. All right. Okay. So Virgos, with your bottom of the deck, you guys, um, this most definitely is you. You have been enlightened to what direction you want to move in, where you want to go. Um, so you are moving away. You're moving a physical location or emotionally, you're moving forward. You're moving away from a um, situation, whatever that is, that didn't fulfill you, that didn't um, bring out the best in you. After taking a lot of time thinking about this, you guys um, made the decision to move forward, to move on, and to move towards something else. But you didn't do this quickly. You, this was <clears throat> very well thought over. But now that you are in that chariot position, you are moving forward full steam ahead. Um, you could be connecting with somebody who is very connected to source. They're very intuitive, um, psychic. Um, but also this is the even, the even um, balance, you know, the, the light and the dark, the, the sun and the shade, black and white. You know, this is the yin and the yang. This is a um, most definite destined relationship and this person does have a lot of love for you this person does um, want to share their life with you as soon as you make that decision to move forward and they know that you're not going to hurt them then this relationship will come into fru full fruition because you are their wish and you guys will take that leap of faith because virgos you guys are looking good you're getting your feet back on the ground, you're going to find stability and happiness and emotional um, balance when you take that leap of faith with this person. Um, right now, you guys could feel unstable and just not sure of what the future holds for you. Once you take that leap with this person in this reading, you will find your grounding. You will find your stability, your happiness, and um, this relationship will be very successful in the future. Okay. Card four for those. Ooh. All right. These two cards flipped. Okay. Um, Virgos, for some of you, you have to leave a situation where there's not enough love um, and attraction to keep the chemistry uh, or to, there's not enough love, attraction, or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Um, you have to completely break free from this, an energy of this un, um, unrequited love because it's not serving you because you have your soulmate waiting for you. They're your soulmate that is on this side. Um, they are currently waiting for you to completely break free from the situation that, that you know is not for you any longer. All right. Advice for Virgos. Not that many. Okay, your guys' advice. Wow. The Phoenix. The resurrection and surrender to change. You guys fear change. You guys 
you avoid change at all costs, but this is finally surrendering. Um, you're, you are going to be celebrating, uh, your journey because this is going by taking, um, the steps in this path, this is going to bring you the ultimate success. Um, for some of you, you're just passing through a, a metaphorical experience of death, like the ending of something, something that you feel you failed in possibly. Um, death and rebirth are also related with this. Um, but I see more, this is the ending of the old you. This is letting that old you leaving it behind, leaving a partnership, a relationship, whatever it is that you are walking away from, that is what is um, causing you to be uh, reborn in this Phoenix energy. Uh, because this, this relationship is from the divine. And when you see it in this light, nothing truly dies. It just changes and from one ending directly into a new beginning. So you're going to be constantly reinventing yourself. You're going to rise up whole and new and even more powerful with every ending that you experience. Um, this card is a sign of the end of one relationship and right into a beautiful new one where, where you will share your life with this person. Um, yeah, there may not even be a failure involved. It may just be a time for a complete overhaul of your circumstances. You could be tired of what you're doing. Um, you may know intuitively that it's time to move on and try something new, whether that's in work or love or whatever. Um, it's the death of an old and a celebration of a new. So whatever, um, whatever you do now will for sure be a successful endeav endeavor for sure. So Virgos, amazing reading for the week. Lots of movement. You have the chariot. It's time to, um, time to take that leap of faith so you can find yourself again. So you can find that stability and, um, and you will rise above this. You will come out far better, um, in this beginning than what you're leaving in the past. So Virgos, I hope you have an amazing week. I will see you next time. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.